Back it up and dump it, back it, back it up and dump it, back it up and dump it, back 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 it, back it up. Hey YouTube, so today um, I did my makeup look um, on an inspiration. Okay, this is a little weird, but I got my inspiration off Arizona Green Tea. And this is my favorite. I love, love, love to drink this. I drink this almost every day. Yeah, I'm doing an inspiration on the colors. It's like a mint uh, green with like hot pink and black. Try drinking this. It's really good. And it's only 99 cents. So yeah, this is uh, the inspiration. And this is the look. If you guys want to see how I did it, just keep on watching. And my eyes with, of course, Pina Lee Pimpa. I'm using NYX um, Jumbo <clears throat> Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk 604. And we're going to put that all over the lid. And make sure you blend really well because it creases a lot. Okay, and what I'm going to be using today... Um, my sister got me this for Christmas as a gift. Um, I don't. I forgot what brand it is. I'm sorry, but it comes with a whole bunch of things: um, eyeshadow, lipsticks, and like uh, lip gloss, uh, blushes, um, face stuff, and yeah. It some some of the eyeshadows were pretty pretty good, but others were chalky, and you know the color payoff isn't that well. But today. We're going to be using this color and this color. Let's start off with, if I can get everything organized, an eyeshadow brush. And we're going to take one side and we're going to use the light teal color. And pack the color on because there's not a lot of color that comes out of it. Tap the excess and put that in your inner one third and your tear duct. Just pat that on. Scoot some of that color down. Do that again. Just keep packing on the color until you get the color you really want. You're gonna use the other side and do the darker um, teal mint green. I'm gonna put that on the rest of our eyelid. There's not much fallout, but just pat it on anyway so you can pack the color on. And blend it um, just above your crease a little bit. Oops, wrong color. Just like that. And then blend it in with the lighter green. Okay, now we're going to take a MAC 224 blending brush and we're going to blend out the green into the light green and the harsh line up here because it looks terrible. like that. It's Max 219. You're going to get the dark green and put it under your lash line. There you go. And connect it, by the way. Now, <clears throat> you're going to get a crease brush, Studio Tools from Target, and then we're going to get um, Hepcat by MAC. And then you're going to grab some product, tap off the excess, and you're going to put that on your crease, just the outer crease right here. Just start outside first and then bring it in after, but don't, just concentrate on outside of, um, on your outer corner. Brush, <clears throat> and we're going to blend out the pink on top. And it's okay, it's going to fade a little bit, but we're going to put that hot pink over it. Just like so. Now, same brush, but you're gonna go in with that hot pink right here. Tap the excess and put that outside of the, your crease and just scooch it in a little bit. Just like that. And then blend it. And the 
this one as well. <clears throat> and so it looks like this. Now we're not finished yet. And as you saw on the can, if you don't remember, there's some black. We're going to deepen the crease up a little bit with carbon. Oh, I can't find it. Oh, it's right here. <clears throat> carbon by MAC. And you're only going to grab a little bit of product. And then you're going to um, concentrate, concentrate on the outside part right here, like this. And then just pat it like that and then blend it just a little bit just like that oh you guys can see that there you go and now what we're going to do is take the same pencil brush, take some carbon, and <coughs> excuse me, put it down um, just about half, like this, and connect it. Don't forget to connect it, just like that. And that's it for the eyeshadow. It's pretty easy. Actually, no, I keep forgetting this. Um, the Hepcat and the Teal, um, it's really shimmery. So as a highlight, we're not going to use um, any shimmer. So what I'm going to use is my Mineralized Skin Finish in medium dark with a 252 brush. And I'm going to put that right here, just like so. There you go. Now we're going to line our eyes with the good old Black Trek Fluid Line and an angle brush. So just grab a little bit of product and just make a thin line from the middle to your out your outer corner of your eye. Like that. Let's darken that a little bit more. Okay now from the middle to your inner corner. We're going to wing it out just a little bit. So just bring it down and just like that. And um, to set the eyeliner so it won't smudge, go back with carbon. Go back with carbon and put it over. Like that. And we're going to use um, NYX eyeliner in black 901. And we're going to put that on our waterline. Just to here. Um, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and put on mascara and I'll be back with the finished look. So here is the finished eye look. I hope you guys like it. And for my lips, I use Max, I don't know how to say it, sorry if I said it wrong, Patissieri? Patissieri? I don't know. <clears throat> and I'm almost out. It's like an, um, almost like a nude pink. You don't need lip gloss because this is really, really moisturizing. Is that a word? <clears throat> okay, so this is it. And I have a hair tutorial. My hair is kind of going flat because it's raining and it's cold. 